My name is Pastor David Ballard. I'd like to welcome you to another segment of Bethel's Bread. Uh, today we're going to talk about the topic of don't be that friend. Uh, sometimes we have to help one another in friendships and uh, friendships are very difficult to find today. True friendships uh, sometimes are even more difficult to find. Uh, we're going to talk about the book of Job today, and Job certainly went through it. He's known for his patience, uh, but to be real honest with you, I like to think about Job for his faithfulness. Uh, Job was somebody that uh, had many things. He was one of the richest men, if not the richest man in all of the East, and this was a man that had uh, much uh, riches, but he also had great family. Uh, and in one moment, in, in a short period of time, it was all taken from him. We find him also getting his health taken from him. And Job finds himself with boils from the crown of his head to the sole of his foot. We find him sitting in an ash heap and he's scraping those boils with potsherd, trying to make himself just have some type of relief. None of these things were brought on him because of what type of person he was, if he was good or bad. He was a good man, and that wasn't why this was brought upon him. But it was noised abroad that he had this, and three friends heard about it. These friends came, and if you look in Job chapter 2, uh, starting out in verse 11, the Bible says, Now when Job's three friends heard of all this evil that was come upon him, they came, everyone from his own place, Eliphaz the Temanite, Bildad the Shuhite, and Zophar the Naamathite. For they had made an appointment together to come to mourn with him and to comfort him. Uh, at first, this is a good idea. Uh, sometimes we know of folks that go through some things and we try to be there for them to help, to mourn with them and to comfort them. Uh, they start out as a good thought, mourning together, meeting together to come and give him help and to give him hope. Uh, and they wept with him. They felt the pain that he was going through and wept with him. Uh, sometimes it's good to let your friends know how much you care about them and how much you love them. And it's easy to do when you can show them. Uh, they sat with him and they didn't say a word. They just sat there. And may I tell you this, sometimes... You don't have the words to help somebody be comforted. Sometimes you don't have uh, any capability uh, with your English language uh, to be able to help somebody to find that comfort. Sometimes just being there is the only thing uh, that can help at all. Sometimes folks just can't be comforted. Sometimes things happen that are so bad that you just can't be comforted. That's okay. You don't have to have the magic words to make them feel better. Uh, sometimes you just have to be there for them. And then at the outset, these men uh, did everything they could uh, to help. And I think they did the right thing at first. But then you look over in Job chapter 16 and verse 2, and you find something very important. We need to realize this. He says to them, miserable comforters are ye all. I've seen this many times. I've been in the ministry for a little bit. And I've seen this many times where folks try to find out why something happened to somebody? Why did this befall them? Why did this come to pass? Why are these people going through this? And you point fingers at sin or you point fingers at something that they do or what type of person they are. First of all, may I tell you this, be very careful to be a, a judger of people. Be very careful because the Bible should be our judge. We shouldn't judge one another. The Bible says, judge not lest ye be judged. They took several stabs at Job trying to say, this is why you are the way you are. This is what happened. And to be real honest with you, they were way off on all of this. And may I also submit that you and I are going to be way off when we try to put blame on somebody's life. Could it be the reason that they're going through what they're going through? Maybe. But who are we to say why they're going through what they're going through? May I tell you, if you want to be a good friend, if you want to be a great friend, make sure that you are a friend that loves and loves and loves and doesn't dwell on what the people are doing. Yes, we want to help folks come out of their sin. Yes, we want to help folks to get their lives better. But please understand, uh, miserable comforters are ye all. These are friends that showed up and try to place blame. And that blame uh, does not help the situation. Love them. Point them to Jesus Christ. Point them to their Bible. Point them to prayer. Pray with them. Mourn with them. Weep with them. Certainly. 
But don't try to be that friend that's the one that sticks their finger out and says, this is what you're going through and this is why you're going through it. I hope this helps you today. I hope that God blesses you with this thought. Please keep it with you. We can be a great comfort to one another when we're needed, if we do it in the right way. God bless you. This has been another segment of Bethel's Bread. I'm Pastor David Ballard from Bethel Baptist Church.